MM Kembla has been manufacturing copper tube in Australia for over 100 years. We pride ourselves on providing our customers with high quality products and customer service. We combined our knowledge and experience with the latest press fit engineering to bring to market the universal copper press fit connection system Kembla Chempress. Chempress is much faster and easier to use than conventional brazing. There's no flame involved, you don't need a hot works permit and if you're doing some maintenance, you don't need to drain water out of the system. All the fittings are manufactured and quality controlled to meet Australian standard 3688. They are fire resistant and 100% recyclable. They are also guaranteed to work with other approved copper press fit tools. The Chempress tool comes in two sizes. They are lightweight and are electronically operated to make them very easy to use. Kembla Copper Tube with Chemcore technology ensures superior wall thickness control for optimal press conditions and long-term tube performance. Chempress DN15-50 to 50 fittings also have a push and stay feature designed to provide a tight fit when pushed together to allow you to make any adjustments if required prior to pressing. This is especially beneficial for vertical installations. This video provides you with a step-by-step -step demonstration on how to use the Chempress system for both DN15-50 to 50 and DN65-100 to 100 installation. First, visually inspect the copper tube to ensure it complies to Australian Standard 1432. Then, measure the length of tube you require and mark it. Using your pipe cutter or a fine tooth saw, cut the copper tube to the length and ensure the tube is cut square. Deburr the end of the tube on the inside and outside to minimise turbulence and pressure loss and to avoid damaging the O-ring. Make sure the tube is free from debris. When you are doing some maintenance and repair on some existing copper tube, clean the end with emery paper or a soft scourer. You can line up the tube and the fitting side by side and mark the tube. Push the end of the tube into the fitting by carefully rotating it until it reaches a complete stop. The outer edge of the fitting must line up with the marking. For DN65 to 100 fittings, secure the tube in a vise or pipe support to prevent any movement. Measure and cut the length of pipe you require using a pipe cutter or a fine tooth saw. Carefully deburr and wipe clean the end of the tube. Ensure you have the correct size fitting and check the stainless steel grip ring, support ring and O-ring are correctly in place. Insert the fitting into the tube until it reaches a complete stop and mark the tube. Select the correct size collar and check the pressing area is clean and smooth. Place the collar around the fitting so that the bump on the fitting rests into the groove of the pressing collar. Close the pressing collar ensuring it fits square with the fitting. Select the ZB203 adapter jaw and insert it onto the KPL KPL2 pressing tool and arrest the locking bolts. Depress the jaw levers and attach to the press collar so that the claws of the jaw grip around the pins of the press collar. Ensure the fitting still lines up with the insertion depth on the tube. Press the start button to make the press. Release the adapter jaw from the collar and the collar from the fitting. Visually inspect the fitting and remove the cam press label to indicate completion of the press. How fast and easy was that? Kembler Chempress. For more information, please refer to the Kembler Chempress Design and Installation Guide. Visit www.kembler.com.au or visit the Kempress website www.kempress.com.au